I'm Judy Crane, and this is a free art lesson on mixing greens. If um, you would like to learn more about how I set up my palette, uh, please uh, refer to the video I have uh, at jerrys.com, jerrysartorama.com, and I'll go ahead and get started. The idea here is to mix greens without using green paint. And I think one of the problems in landscape painting is often that people use tube greens and they end up with all the greens looking the same. So I'm going to start with putting out a yellow. We all know that yellow and blue make green. So I have cad yellow light, some uh, yellow ochre, Indian yellow, and we'll put out a couple blues. Here is cerulean blue and ultramarine blue. Now the key to making interesting greens is also to use some reds because the reds are what temper the greens. So over here I have some cad red light, permanent rose, and alizarin crimson. It's also possible to use some uh, burnt sienna, almost as a red. And I'm going to put some ivory black on here. Ivory black can make a great green. So let's start with our traditional, we have yellow and we have blue. And we get a nice bright green. This is a wonderful spring green. Let's add a little of this red to it. And we start getting a nice fall tree changing green. You can add yellow ochre to it. And it makes a little drabber bright green. We take the same yellow, add ultramarine blue. The result is not quite as bright a green because we're working with a darker blue that actually has a little bit more red in it. I can add more yellow. Now we have a nice bright almost Christmas green. Let's add some alizarin crimson to this and here we start to get a brown green. We can add a little bit more yellow. We're using now an Indian yellow. And we're getting a little bit of a browner green. Um, get some more of this ultramarine up here. Let's take the ultramarine blue. Here we were working with this cad yellow. Um, now Oh, one more thing. You can go back in when you start mixing a green on your palette and then you want to lighten the green or change it. Just mix one of the colors back into it. There we have another shade of green. We can come in with more ultramarine and bring it into another shade of green. Depending on what red and what um, blue we use. Here I'm going to add a little bit of the permanent rose. We'll make a little bit more green into this. And there we have a dark brownish olive green. Now taking the, <coughs> excuse me, now by taking the ultramarine blue and let's start this one with the yellow ochre. Yellow ochre is kind of a bit of a muddy color. It's already got some brown in it. But what a nice green there to use in nature. That's a nice green in the 
that we would see in trees and that is without adding any red to it because this is already not a pure color. When you have the pure colors they often need to be neutralized. Now if I add cad red light into that green there's almost that brownish green that you see when the leaves are about ready to fall off the trees. Brighten it up with some cad yellow light. Make it a little bit brighter with some of this blue using the cerulean blue. You can start heading back toward a more natural green. So that as you're working on your painting you don't need to add green paint. Just keep adding these individual colors into the greens you have on your palette or on your canvas um, and you can create an amazing array of natural looking greens. Here's adding the um, alizarin crimson into two of these. Now that's a rusty color but it's actually in the green family and we can move back into more greens with that. The other um, little trick that I like is actually ivory black which normally I don't use black paint but ivory black with some cad yellow light creates some olive greens that happen very fast. You don't have to use, you don't have to do all the um, mixing of other colors into it to get these nice olive greens. So when you're mixing greens you don't need green paint. You need yellow, blue, and red. Different varieties of those create different colors. Ivory black is a quick way to get to an olive green. And there you have an array of greens that you can use in your landscape paintings. Hope you enjoyed this free art lesson and we'll come back for another one.